How's it going, boys? Outlaws, Thunder Junction. As always, the show must go on. And today, I have been cooking, and I think you will absolutely love this. Gruel is back, boys. Ramp, Stompy, Midrange, Late Game, it's back, and it's pretty amazing, honestly. A lot of new cards that we can use here, and, well, look for yourself. We have a returning favorite, Terror of the Peaks, one of the most blatantly overpowered cards that has existed in standard rotation. That's right, whenever you drop a creature, or it gets just put on your field, aka this works with tokens and pretty much anything that counts as a creature and enters the battlefield, this card deals damage equal to that, that creature's power to any target we want. The enemy, the enemy planeswalkers, the creatures. This card single-handedly can turn around almost any matchup easily. And then we have more. Railway Brawler. Whoever designed this card definitely deserves to be fired on one hand. But on the other, this has Reach, this has Trample, it's a 5-5, it costs 5. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X plus 1, 1 counters on it, where X is its power. So effectively, it doubles the power and, you know, toughness of most creatures. And it's absolutely crazy. And another one, Spinewood Armadillo. 7-7, seven, seven, 6 cost, has reach, has VAR 3, perfect protection essentially, and you can discard him for 2 mana in search a land, and then you can put it on the battlefield hopefully, A.K. this is ramp with late game potential. There's a lot of game, uh, ca new cards by the way here in this set that have early game potential and yet pretty good late game potential. And this is just one example of them. A.K. it's pretty good. And then we have other stuff. We have Chimil, Silverback Elders, Warren Slicks, Tribute to the World Tree because why not? Vren and Realm Breaker because this card completely busts and breaks uh, most control decks because of the lanes and whatnot. And we have Bone Horde Drug Source. Previously, Ghoul did not work out because we only essentially had a Dragosaurus and maybe a Tali if you felt a little bit frisky about things, but typically it was just this card. But now, with Terror of the Fix, oh man, is it getting uh, better. Now, admittedly, admittedly, everything pretty much costs 5 mana here, but we do have some ramp. We have this that scales also with dinosaurs. Admittedly, we don't have a lot of dinosaurs, but that's a different story, okay? We have the classic Loom Speaker and Gwena. So, the plan is simple. Get to turn 3, play Gwena, it doesn't get removed, and then you just win the game because your power creep is absolutely ridiculous. If we survive to turn 5, it's, it's just over for almost anyone who plays against us. That's how absolutely insane this is. And arguably, we don't even need Tribute to the World Tree. We could just double down with Vren or go for more Spinewood Armadillos. And, you know, channel for the late game. Our draw is amazing and it's literally just through creatures. It's, it's just busted, okay? 24 lands to be specific. 4.0 average mana cost. Now, admittedly, the only thing that can actually stop us at this point is the idea that we do not get the 5 mana. Hopefully that does not happen, but if it does happen for some reason, I am sure, I am sure that we can make it work in either case. But honestly, with 12, well, 11 ramp cards, this should not be that horribly, uh, uh, well, hard to do, honestly, right? And with the amount of threads that we have and deck thinning and whatnot, it shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't know about you, but I think we're gonna. I, I think we're gonna experience great things. So, a uh, valley, some ramp, and a Vorenslix. That's not bad. That's not bad. Opponent plays red and did something. I don't know who you are, but I don't already like you on a personal level. Aura enchanted creature gets plus one one and has menace and trample. Not good. Not good. Considering he can play it for zero because of the plaw. Okay, I mean, that's a little bit of a completely overpowered start, plus he went first, so, uh, big things, ahoy, haha. <laughs> now, remember, this does give us healing, which is kind of a little bit underlooked in a lot of situations. 
In any case, we have the Lorenzlix, we have the Terror of the Peaks. We, we can cook. We can definitely cook some here, boys. And I think he's gonna go for the full aggro route, so this could honestly be good. Unless he brutally murders us at turn 4, which is a possibility, but hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah, because this is kind of insanely good start, not gonna lie. Put into the graveyard from the... Oh, wow, this is even extra draw? That's insane. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's also insane. Uh, yeah, it looks like Wizards does not want us to win. Because they're evil and bad people, obviously. So, there is a small chance I can still kind of pump it and survive, because again, we are healing, and healing is extremely powerful. But again, the problem is, well, he has only two cards. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Wait, was that turn three dead? Wait, was that actually me dead on turn three? Oh yeah, Wizards really did not want us to win the game, it seems like. Hallelujah. I, I was afraid here I'm gonna have a fair match. Okay, okay. Well, the good the good news is almost nothing could have survived that. That was menace, trample. So unless you have removal, uh, that was not happening. Could we win a window if we actually went first? I don't know, but you know, it is what it is. Playing against thread and opponent goes first typically doesn't end well because you know stuff's happening. Anyway, looks here. What a name. Uh, two two things. We do have a Vren, which is good, but we don't have anything else. Ah, this is fine. Our opponent goes first again. Interesting. Well, maybe it's a slow player. Who honestly knows? Uh, more lands. I, me likey, me likey. The good part also... Oh. Wait, no. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, did you just get... Oh my lord, he just got three lands from that. Okay, I mean... <laughs> funny, said someone probably somewhere, Wizards, but I'm not a fan. In any case, let's see how it goes, because yeah, he started off with that. I'm not sure how... Well, what's happening here. But I do know that the Vren, uh, Vren and Realm Breaker could potentially be... Uh, big cheese, you know? Unless he counterspells this. He does not! Weakness has been found. Ho ho ho! Yeah, I'm gonna do this, even though there's no real point in doing it. And now we just need one more land, and we can do amazing things. So, let's hope for that one land. Otherwise, well, otherwise it's not gonna be fun. But if we do get one land, we can play a Dracosaurus, and that's probably gonna... There's no way you can actually get rid of Vren. Look at what you're playing. There's... You're, you're not targeting Vren with anything on each one, okay? Relax. You're probably, though, ramping like there's no... Jesus! I don't know what's the plan here, but the plan's pretty good for him. Okay? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but yeah. Well, I guess this is better than nothing, because at least we're getting the land. He has some interaction. I'm not sure which kind of interaction, though. And I'm going to uh, pick a basic mountain, because those mountains are useful. I don't, by the way, like almost any art uh, of, you know, look at this. This is a forest pretty bad, mountain pretty bad. I don't know about, you know, all of that, chief. Well, anyway... If we get the Vren Emblem, you know how that works uh, against control decks. <laughs> you kind of just demolish them and squash them because infinity replayability is a virtue. In any case, if his whole play is gonna just be... I assume he's gonna proc the Analyst. And man, that mill was pretty big, not gonna lie. Whatever he's playing, uh, Wizards just let him cook, and that's not good. If I get a land, I can play Chimmel, and I'm pretty sure he probably doesn't have a way to deal with Chimmel, but, you know, that doesn't make me feel good about myself, honestly. We do- okay, 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 uh, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Not really, kind of bad, honestly. Okay, so, uh, it is what it is. A Draco monster, let's go. And the question now is, what is he gonna do? 
Is it just gonna be Itali? It could be just Itali. Anything else is honestly kind of lackluster, low-key, bad. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, I wonder what are my options here. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't target the friend. Don't target the friend, chief. Relax. This is not your show, okay? We already got completely squashed by a, a mono-red aggro a deck that went first and completely destroyed. Hello there. Okay. Yeah, if you tap a basic lane for mana, it produces three times that much mana. I, I don't know what Onichan's plan is, but I'm assuming it involves hitting me in the face, which is not good, arguably. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we got stuff, we got things. Okay, okay. Do we just play this because it's best things? Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess. I, I guess, yes. So now we do this because it's useful. And now we do nothing. But we do attack at least. Okay, the reason I dropped Monkey is, one, we're gonna destroy this. Two, yeah, that's honestly kind of, kind of it. I'm, 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 I'm done after that. So the idea is simple. We survive, and then good things happen. Because, yeah, this is, I don't know what's the game plan here, but he can already deal a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, a lot of damage. 22 damage. If he drops a basic land, he can do more than that. I'm assuming. Well, actually, that's assuming also that he, um... Does this... Did this scale with itself? I think it did. He can do 21 damage probably at this point. So, yeah, I need to be very careful. Then again, I can only drop one monkey. Well, I can... Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah, I thought that that's kind of the plan there. Oof, oof, oof. Not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan at all. And he did it again. I mean, it's a cool combo, I'm not gonna lie, but... Um, yeah. What do I do? I can't gain enough life. I need some kind of low ball. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you're not gonna attack me now, the audio chief. Okay, still got land. Dude, cereal! Okay, I, I, I can't kill him. I can't do anything. Let's see how much damage I'd be packing here. Uh, hashtag not enough. Am I just dead zo? I think I am. What what else can I do here? Yeah, we, we, we got none of the early game. We didn't even... Okay, I think we're just dead. I think we are just dead because destroying this doesn't matter. He probably can do some other stuff that I'm not happy about. I, uh, I can cast a Vren, but what's what's the exact point of that? No, actually, there is a slight point in casting Vren because I can mill now, and that's almost good enough. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's not bad. Well, it is bad. Okay, I'm attacking with almost everything. Not that it matters. So, uh, yeah. Wizards absolutely is not treating us well because... Yeah, good game. Shut up, loser. Oh, man. We actually lost, didn't we? He probably just is gonna do one of these things. We got rid of that thing, but again, we, we just, just didn't have the small things. And there he goes. 4-5. We could have actually unironic. Well, actually, no, we couldn't have survived. Uh, but yeah, clearly, yeah, clearly, currently, Wizards is not favoring us because this is bull. This is bull. We missed one turn. Our opponent had perfection in perfection and mill into perfection, perfection. Okay. Right, right, right. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. But yeah, this. I. You, you play this and you lose, and you understand that you're losing to something that's literally a complete MacGuffin that has a, roughly a 1 in 20 chance to win realistically. Because, again, this guy's play was perfection at its finest. Went first, played that card, milled literally 4 lands out of 5. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good.
It's not looking good for my sanity. So this is why people leave magic. It's pretty simple. Oh, Tessa. Tessa doesn't... Wait, Tessa does matter in this case. Okay, uh, getting no early game cards. That's, that's cool. Opponent goes first and one more perfect hand. Wizards, are you serious? Can we just stop? Can, can we stop? He literally got a Talia into an Adelaine. You cannot go more perfect mono white than this. Ah, but you see, here's, here's what I wrong. I mean, arguably this was the most damage that he could have uh, popped there. In any case, uh, yeah, uh, great stuff. Great, great stuff. I, I'm dead. Okay, yeah. Uh, cool. Yesterday we started with the wins first. Now we need to start with the losses first, it seems like. And Wizard's really putting a number. I, I feel the skill difference, you know, setting in and going second. And enemies having whatever the hell is, but perfect. But seriously, did that red deck just OTK us at turn 3? With a full combo of whatever? No, I think it was turn... F yeah, I think it was turn four, wasn't it? Pfft, I don't even know. Oh, man. Okay. Also, so, judging from the loading screens and whatnot, is Outlaws of Thunder... Ju oh, here we have uh, the average... The average Deliminator. Nice, Wizards. Nice. I mean, this, yeah, this this is average mana. It's fine. At least we go first. I'm assuming he's removal. Oh! Tiny boner. Nice. Okay, we have Ren and Realm Breakers, so that's kind of good. Okay. Um, so, is Outlaws of Thunder Junction gimmick just cactuses are giant? Because that's kind of what I'm getting here. That cactuses are giant. Now, I don't know if Wizards skipped biology class, but cactuses hold a lot of water. So, is the Thunder Junction plane... I assume it's a plane. I, I, I don't have any idea, obviously, in reality. Is the Thunder Junction plane a plane that's a desert because uh, cactuses exist and they're giant and they drink up all the water? Is, is that the thing? And also, if giant cactuses exist everywhere... Uh, I hope at least people don't have f trouble finding water because that doesn't seem like a problem, you know, when giant cactuses that have water in them exist everywhere. Does it- does the lore make sense? I have a feeling it doesn't. <laughs> I have a feeling it doesn't though. In any case, he has tiny boner and he- oh! Wait, um, what am I supposed to do now? Well, I'm supposed to drop Terror of the Peaks and say YOLO 420, blaze it, boys. Okay, so the dream is simple. The dream is Terror of the Peaks survives, and then we do marvelous things in extremely brutal ways. At least that's kind of the hope. Again, um, we're, we're not getting any of our what's her... F oh, 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 that's, that's cool. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. That's cool. That's cool, dude. Yeah, that's that's really cool. You 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 did it. Okay, deals damage to a play. You may cast target on. Okay, does this is this permanent though? Can he do it always, or this uh, or is this just a one round thing? Because you know it's slightly problem. Yeah, he can't cast. Wait a minute, he can't cast it at all. Okay, okay, I, I, I see how it'd be. I, I see how it'd be. Okay, so let's go again. Let's, uh, if this survives, well, actually, we have this this time. Well, then again, I can't do anything, so, eh. Oh, huh. Interesting. Do you think he just has more removal? Because it's... <laughs> well, technically, that is removal. And it procs two times. Okay, great, great, great. Well, he can't... He's attacking Vren? Are you an idiot? And I'm getting more lands. Well, at least this play makes a lot of sense. Because what? What? watch. Oh, wait, I can't. Well, the silver back at least is something. Okay, do this. And, I mean, nothing changes, I guess. 
Did I just lose a third game in a row? Ugh. Okay, cool. Why do you still have a red glow around you, though? That's that's a good question. Um, why? Tiny Bones can't cast you. I wonder if he's gonna go for the Tiny Bones steal on that. I have no idea. But anyway... I, I can't interact with the board! I literally can't interact with the board! What am I supposed to do? Oh man, what am I supposed to do? And this is gonna, by the way, turn. Oh no, he paid, so it doesn't at least turn. Okay, so at least I get to cast this. This is kind of big. Um, can do that. And honestly, I can attack, so good luck, chief. I mean, well, he can deal with that bot pretty easily. But it hasn't been nighttime even. What can I do here? Hmm, not much, it seems like. Would be nice if I had, I had dinosaurs to exile, but that's not happening. By the way, it's crazy how... Okay. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you should have had some removal. Shut up. Removal doesn't do anything. The only reason that... By the way... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Putting four removal cards in your deck is peak stupidity, if anyone's wondering. Just having four... In, it only works in Arena, essentially. Also, again, maybe we should just go for more of this and... But what do we cut in that case? Can we just get Gwena and, you know, something... Some of these cards out? It, would, it should be so simple, you know? It should be so ridiculously simple, but it's not for some reason. It's just not simple, wizards. Well, admittedly, they have completely averaged my hand to be per perfectly enough lands and enough uh, early creatures and late game creatures. But, you know, eh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Again, at some point, wizards needs... If the first two games were forced losses, that's not a question. This game was against a complete moron, and, well, it didn't end well for us. Okay, we got a hand, we got some things. We're going first, and this time, okay, look at this, it's a mix of cards. It's almost, it's amazing, it's almost like that's how the game should honestly be. Um, play this, play that, sag this. Is this pirates? Because, oh no, it's, it's, it's stupidity with extra steps, it's fine. Uh, Lightning Helix. Thankfully, I don't care that much, honestly. Okay, let's drop this. I think I'm gonna go for the Tribute. I can. Also, with the Sack of the Armadillo. So, we're gonna see how that goes. Aha! The last time we saw this, we got absolutely clapped, I think. By a random combo that should never work. But it always does, somehow. It always, it always does. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this costs green? That's illegal. I could technically pre-med this if I wanted to. Well, I say pre-med, but actually it's called plodding. Ho, 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 ha. In any case. Well, I guess I'm just gonna drop the bony boys. That should be good enough. Could have attacked, but I, 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 who wants to cares? Okay. So let's see. Do you think he has counter spells? I think you could have counter spells. That would be... Oh, look at this. It's a miracle. The card that didn't exist exists. So let's see what he's gonna cook here. A removal, I'm assuming, right? What else could it be? Well, now at least we know probably not counter spells. Huh? Are you gonna double lightning strike? Oh! Okay, that's pretty impressive. I actually like this card. This is one of the new ones. Uh, slick squ uh, s sequence deals two damage to any target. If you cast another spell this turn, draw a card. It's kind of nice. It's kind of neat. But at the same time, is it actually useful? Uh, who, who, who knows? Depopulation. What a time to be a time. Okay, can I... I still can't... Oh my... Lord have mercy. 
Like, come on! How hard it is to just cast stuff, wizards? How how hard it is to just cast stuff? Do you think he's gonna get rid of Gwen? Bruv, again, the last time I played against this me a meme shittery, I just got Omega clapped. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Classic also. Yeah, okay, e either this deck is completely bad, which is it not, because this is effectively dinosaurs. This is effectively the same principle as dinosaurs. Holy. Also, come on. Mm-hmm. So, oh, he's playing Farewell, I guess. Yeah, he's definitely playing that Farewell. For show, boys. Okay, okay. So, what's happening now? I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, a, a land that does things? That's what's happening. Anyway, Gwena. What are my options here? Imagine he counterspells now. That's illegal. Probably not happening also because it's illegal. Can't play the tribute. Okay, so what can I honestly do at this point? To force wizards to actually give me some ramp. Some late game. And my opponents, you know, uh, not just, you know, one for one countering me. That would be good. That, that would be swell. Because again, this the reason why I say this should work is because this is technically the exact same principle as dinosaurs. And dinosaurs were, were well, maybe because it's the same principle as dinosaurs that this doesn't work. Because dinosaurs, when they came out, they were bla they were broken to a a absolutely cereal. I'm, I'm guessing he's just gonna do another one of this. Dinosaurs, when they came out, were blatantly beyond reason broken. But... Wizards stealth nerfed them, and now if you play dinosaurs, it's a 50-50 win rate. But I'm not playing dinosaurs, even though it's the same principle, but I'm currently at a whopping 0% win rate, so I'm not exactly thrilled by this, wizards. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I mean, I see no fault in this deck, honestly, because we're losing against memes! We're literally losing against memes. Because we, we, we can't put any pressure out on opponents, which is dumb. Jesus, that's a lot of MacGuffins. I wonder what he's gonna get out of that. Arcane Bombardment, okay. So, this is effectively something we can just destroy, by the way, because, I mean, it doesn't do a lot, not gonna lie. <laughs> we can just get Monkey and f uh, Freebie destroy Arcane Bombardment. So, does he do anything here? No idea. Hmm. Also, someone's using an angle grinder outside. I wonder if you can hear it. Probably not, I'm assuming. But maybe I should cl No, if I close the window, I'm gonna start yawning because I start yawning for you. Oh no, I said yawning and I'm yawning. I hope you did the same because yawning's contagious. Anyway, can he not figure out what he's supposed to- Hell, he did nothing. Wow, what a time to be a time. Anyway, is this the glorious turnaround? Wait, no, that- Wait, no. Uh... Well, I can do this, and it's amazing. Hee hee ha ha hoo hoo. Okay, is, is luck on our side, boys? Because this, as you can probably tell, is pretty powerful. Now, admittedly, the problem, yet again, is very simple. It's called... Farewell. There's no way this guy's not playing Farewell, right? Or, at the bare minimum, he should be playing Sunsfall. So, you know, it is what it is. And it's not looking good for us. Not dead. Well, actually, you can see in the camera I'm moving slightly. Am I a puppet? A meat puppet. Well, in any case... Dude, what do you mean you're just... 
I do like the interactions of this if you have to, because everything that's multicolored becomes literally free. But, well, well, this is not free, but you get the point. This costs effectively one mana because of treasure generation. Maybe there's something we can actually do. I mean, did, did this guy just run out of uh, magic panagic? There's no way he should be getting another deep plate at this point. Uh, you know, it's it, it literally feasibly doesn't work that he doesn't get a depopulate now. But it kind of looks like he didn't. I mean, third time's the charm. Ac no, wait, he has more? Oh, right, he cast... He already cast the two faithful mendings and then he discarded two more. Um, just, just, just do the thing that does the stuff and there you go. Wow, what a, what a hero. What a hero, said no one. Anyway, uh, a land. I guess I'm gonna do this because I need to go for the value plays at this point. Finally, also can cast it, thank you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 mana off. A little bit sad, but eh, I guess it's fine. He only has 10 HP left, and we have still a lot of Terrors of the Peaks left. I wonder what's his win condition. Because currently I'm not seeing one unless it's a slick sequence. And I really doubt that. By the way, slick, slick sequence. Pretty good art, not gonna lie, boys. Pretty decent art, considering everything. Anyway, he's taking his sweet time. Also, his name is Hayabusa666, and he's using a, a brownie avatar. So, you know, on a technical level, there's not a lot that I am waiting here. Also, place your bets. Are we getting a two-cost? Are we getting a two-cost ramp creature from Chimel? You know it, boys. Oh, another Chimel, in case the first one doesn't work. Well, considering I still think he's playing fair, well, I guess it's not honestly that bad. It's sus, though. There's no way you play counterspells. We already know that that's not happening. Also, I mean, he popped off with whatever stupidity he's trying to pop off with, but... What's the Vincon? Some kind of giant hit face god? Is, is that it? And also, hello there, can you, can you please, like, do stuff? He didn't, good, good. Okay, remember the bet? I think we're uh, getting a two cost. Are we? Or is it Terror of the Peaks? Oh! Well, it's effectively a two cost. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Kind of, slightly funny, honestly. But, you know, not as funny as one may. You know what we need to do? We need to find it, make a deck that just plays 50 trillion chimels. That's what we honestly need to do. And another Fateless Looting, like, my god, how is, how is this even still happening? Why is whatever is happening still happening? Should I feel bad about myself or I should feel good? I'm kind of entertained even though we're losing all the games. I should have probably, like, spun this five times for a test run. One, get rid of the forced losses. Uh, two, when you make a deck, seriously, can you, this is, you have been just casting Faithful Mendings for the past 15 years at this point. Stop. You know what happens? When you make a deck and Wizards doesn't understand what exactly is going on, you actually feel, uh, you actually see strange unexpected card draw ratios and things like that. Oh, another I came on that man. How about no? I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, you're gonna stroke of midnight. Are you for real? I'm sorry. Are you for real? I mean, maybe that is actually the win condition. Who honestly knows at this point? I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty creative, and this is actually a good deck against us because. It has some ramps, some vrats and stuff like that, so it is effective, right? But at the same time, it's like, is this really effective? Oh! Can I actually play you? Uh, yeah, I can. I do get a Yumi token, which is nice. Wait, he destroyed the tribute to the world tree? I thought he destroyed the Chimil! I'm so confused! 
Why would you destroy tribute instead of chimil? Do you not target artifacts in? Yeah, destroy non-lay and permanent. Why? Why? Do you want to bet he gets a uh, brat under there? Okay, lightning helix. I mean, that definitely means that he can win. But he could be running of sauce at this point. Big score. Big score is not gonna do too much. He's he kind of has low cards left at this point. Uh, so lightning helix slick sequence again. I can always draw a monkey. Now, admittedly, I don't think that's happening at this rate, but you know, it is it reasons. Reasons. Can we just get a single Vin Wizards? I'm ki I'm kind of tired. Now you're putting memes against me because you're so confused. The fact that, by the way, Wizards algorithm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't understand this, by the way. That decks with rats that cost four and whatnot are actually really good against ramp. They they are really good against ramp on average. I'm really sure that put in hand. I'm not gonna kill him next turn anyway, so this doesn't matter. Um okay, you you did a thing. Well, he did a thing, and I'm probably dead because he did a thing. I don't know if I can... Like, what's the point of get? What's the point of all of this? It just doesn't make sense on any level. Stop. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here's the rat. Admittedly, it's a weaker rat, technically. But a rat, nonetheless... Well, again, I just need to draw a monkey, and we're absolutely cheeks. And we kind of survive, and that's that's the end of the story. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I mean... Uh, living the life. Oh, no, even if we get monkey, he can still cast an instant interact and uh, just kill monkey, uh, kill monkey before anything happens. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Man, is this pathetic. Oh, 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 here we have explosive iteration. Oh, explosive single arty. Who cares? Explosive iteration is a different god. At least he does have a finisher. But my god, is that a stupid deck. Thank you, wizards, for giving me this opportunity to feed losers, by the way. I really appreciate it. I, I really do. I have played so many card games in my life. And Magic the Gathering Arena is literally the only one where I can win a game and still call it rigged, and lose a game and still call it call it rigged. What a great time to be alive, boys. What can I honestly say? Okay, okay, one win. One win. We're doing this, boys. We're doing it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be absolutely great. It's gonna be spectacular, even. You know, poetic justice and whatnot. Yeah, probably not. But, you know, uh, we're doing the best that we can. Again, we, we have not... Did, we, we have... Well, at least we drew... Okay, you know what? Going first. I'm fine with this. You know what? It's, it's fine. We, we have a brand. We, we have a brand. Watch him be red aggro, by the way. Now. Well, in that case, that's actually really good for us. Woo. Let's see. Well, this is a good start now, though. Again, this is the hand that you honestly want to see. Ooh, considering our everything, I'm actually going to do this. Okay, you see, this is a hand that you want to see. This is called a good hand. Crazy, right? Do you think he's gonna remove some? Oh! Oh my. Well, that's, that's, that, that is an experience, as one might say. Anyway, drop this and see how it goes. Uh, more of ramp? Yeah, that's fine. He probably has removal for the Terror of the Peaks, but, you know, we, we still have a... <gasps> Oh, Nichan did nothing! What do you mean? Okay, you see you see, you see how easy suddenly things look and become when, uh, when the most simplest things in the world... I'm gonna draw a card first. Nice, nice, nice wizards. How how do they not... Uh, how, how do they honestly fail at organizing things properly? And by the way, look at this. This should be our average hand. But it isn't! But it isn't. Why isn't it? I don't know. 
ask wizards, I guess. So yeah, what now? I mean, a play was made. He should have probably attacked there, not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, yes, this comes into the battlefield, blah blah. Again, the, the, the stuff that we can do here is completely off the wall, insanely overpowered. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, yeah, look at this. This is what it happens when they pop off. The, the, and this should not exactly be even that rare. Because, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to get four lands, a little bit of ramp in late game creatures. So, you know, yeah. And this is why I uh, didn't start off with uh, two of these, because, yeah, you, you see how much we actually, it's, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, yeah, that's what happens when we pop off. And we can't even say that our opponent didn't pop off, because, well, he didn't have a turn two play, but he did have removal for it, I guess. Well, that was in our favor. Again, as always, we, we won a game that I, I, I would say was rigged in our favor. But yeah. But that is at least a good example of what happens, you know, when we pop off. And it's really not hard to do. Again, Terror of the Peaks is literally bona fidely insanely OP. And again, it should not be hard to pull it off. It shouldn't. It's just wizards. Anyway, this was Cruiser Sid Zen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I haven't thought it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.